Welcome to a short tutorial on how to undervolt your Intel CPU using Intel Extreme Tuning Utilities or short XTU. This tutorial shows you how to get the same or even better performance with less energy consumption and therefore less heat, specifically on laptops. The first thing you obviously want to do is download it. Check the link in the description of this video for the direct link. Make sure your CPU is supported. You can see that by scrolling through the list of supported CPUs on the right hand side. Be careful there are two download options. One is only for the manual, which is the one on top. The other one is the setup file itself. After installing you will launch XTU and see the following screen. The first thing you are going to see is a summary of your CPU. On my laptop it's an i7-8750H. It has 6 cores and 12 threads and a maximum boost of up to 4.1 GHz. The base clock is 2.2 GHz. The first thing I advise you to do is to do a quick stress test. You can see the stress test option in the menu on the left hand side. The CPU stress test is sufficient. The ones with AVX and AVX2 as well as the memory stress test are just additional. Let the CPU stress test run for 5 to 10 minutes and see how often thermal throttling is kicking in. Usually it does quite often and quite early. You can also see that the CPU utilization is maximized. The thermal throttling leads to a lower CPU clock when the temperatures are too high. The maximum specification for this processor is 100 degrees Celsius and when it reaches around 97 degrees Celsius it begins to throttle. After you've seen that baseline, let's get to the juicy part, undervolting your CPU. In order to do that you select advanced tuning in the menu and then you can select either all controls or core. Now what's interesting to you is the core voltage offset. That means you're increasing or decreasing the voltage from the current core voltage. Obviously you want to decrease it because you want to undervolt your CPU. The strategy for undervolting your CPU consists of lowering the voltage step by step. That means lowering by only tiny bits. When you just start out you can easily lower by 0.01. Later you should go by 0.005 steps. After you've lowered the voltage, click on apply on the lower right hand corner. Now you want to stress test your system to see if it is stable. It can be the case that not enough power, meaning voltage, is provided to your CPU which would result in a blue screen and reboot. So you always want to make sure that your system is stable. In case it is not stable, it will revert automatically to the last known settings that were stable. For the stress test after lowering the voltage I advise you to do at least 15 minutes in order to see if your system remains stable. If it is not stable you will see a blue screen and a reboot, otherwise it's simply stable. Especially when you've lowered the voltage quite a bit you should stress test your system for a longer period of time. That means an hour, two or even three hours. And you might even want to consider switching over to Prime95 since this is the ultimate CPU stress test tool. A link for that is also found in the description of this video. I've lowered my CPU voltage by 0.1 and found this is a stable offset. I could go even lower but I like the time for testing right now. You can also look up popular or stable offsets by googling them for your specific CPU. Looking now at the stress test with a lower CPU core voltage you can see that thermal throttling is less frequent and that the CPU temperature also remains below the non undervolted setup. The score on the Intel XTU benchmark for undervolted on this particular system was 1475 points. For not undervolting it was 1418 points. That is actually not surprising since the latter is throttling more often because of too high temperatures, meaning the overall performance is reduced. So eventually undervolting gives you the following things. First, at least the same performance with a lower energy consumption, which is important if you are running on battery on a laptop. Second, the same performance with less heat, since you are using less power. Three, because of less thermal throttling you might even see a higher performance on average. This is it for this video, leave a like if you liked this video, subscribe to see more videos like this and support the channel and we will see you in the next one.